So I'm a little under the weather this week. The stuffiness you're hearing isn't acting. I'm actually sick. At least I'm not bleeding everywhere. That'd be kind of tough to work through. Also, it happens, like, all the time in movies. You know you're working with a great actor when they keep going with the take, no matter what happens. Also, it helps if they're completely wasted. In the phenomenal Apocalypse Now, Martin Sheen finds himself back in Saigon, drunk and miserable. He copes with this by drinking more booze, doing karate stances, and punching mirrors. Now you'd think they'd build one of those breakaway mirrors or use an effect or something so that Martin Sheen didn't have to punch actual glass. But it turns out his depth perception was a little off. And I was so drunk I couldn't stand up, frankly. Not only did Martin Sheen actually cut his hand, but he was also genuinely drunk. I wonder why. That opening sequence was shot on my 36th birthday, August 3rd. Oh, well, happy birthday, Marty. If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is going to let loose with both barrels that sawed off. Now let's turn our attention to Django Unchained, a movie that managed to slip into theaters just a year or two before Ferguson and Selma and racist frats from Alabama started chanting horrible things. Close one there, Tarantino. Anyway, I don't know if it's the skull in his hand or a glass on the table, but something actually digs right into Leo DiCaprio's hand here. Thank you ever so much, Doctor. He's actually checking his wounded hand out of genuine concern. In fact, he probably considers the palm for longer than the Academy has ever considered him for an actual award. Real talk. Don't put money on Leo DiCaprio ever winning an Oscar. You owe me $200. Okay, so there's a bit of background information we need to get out of the way here. First of all, this scene was shot 18 hours into a 27-hour day. We were insane, and now we're, <laughs> we're, now we're 18 hours into this 27-hour day. I'm going to assume the actors' union wasn't as strong in 1974. Second, there was fake blood and a dull knife ready to go. There's a tube to feed the blood there, the fake blood. We shot this over and over again because the tube kept clogging. Uh, and, fi- and there's a piece of tape, scotch tape, over the blade edge to keep it dull. But after that many hours in Texas, you start to lose all logic and reason. Ooh, conservative burn! But for real, though, they did cut into actress Marilyn Burns' finger. More like Texas Chainsaw Manicure, am I right? This is your first time getting body waxed? Yes, yes it is. Take off your shirt. Oh, did you think these were all going to be gritty dramas and horror films? <laughs> Joke's on you. And the hair is on Steve Carell. Literally. He actually wanted to do the chest waxing for real. He didn't think it would hurt. Oh, you fucker! So the crew set up enough cameras to get the scene in one go, and the result is an American Idol winner being used as an expletive. No, Kelly Clarkson! Okay, I got through that episode with a cold. I feel pretty good not needing someone to cover for me this week. I'll cover you! Come, trust me. I'll cover you! Well, thanks for the offer, Jean-Claude, but I'm all right. Why don't you just uh, take us out? See you next time.